Hey guys, it's Compass here. I'm currently going to try and solo uh, Falcon Lost on hard. This is after the the two hot fixes for uh, fixing the obvious glitch. I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna go over my loot that I have. Um, so basically, this pretty standard gear. I have an overheal on this armor. This is something I found yesterday. I have an overheal for uh, my chest piece. On my backpack, I have inventive. And then I have my crafted vector, which is relatively average. Uh, critical hit chance, damage, and responsive. Uh, my really average M1A just got balanced on it. Um, I crafted these two things. I got lucky on my uh, mass crafting. I'm crafting a Sentry's Caulk kit, but uh, this one is Sticky Bomb Explosion Radius. I mean, two mod slots were right off the bat, pretty good. Knee pads, I had to re-roll a slot, but critical hit damage, enemy armor damage, all the fun stuff. Uh, my challenging gloves are probably the best I've ever seen. I don't know why I have this. Uh, I re-rolled firearms up. Everything else is like critical hit damage, critical hit chance, ballistic shield damage. This was the most awesome weekly drop I've ever seen. Uh, my holster was also from Falcon Lost Challenging. Pretty much 550 across the board. That's why I vote those two. So I'm running these two and these two, and then everything else brings me about to a 195. Nothing else is sneaking around in my gear. Uh, before people were like, oh my god, you have lots of skill power, you've clearly been doing Falcon Lost. You can look at my old videos from prior to 1.1. You can see I've been running skill power for almost the entire month. I've been doing uh, sticky bomb builds uh, in PvP and stuff. So the thing about hard is that um, the HP scales. So if you're so low, the HP won't be as high. And you still do the same amount of damage, but obviously it'll be easier for me to you know, blow up the, the thing with the sticky bomb. And we know the sticky bomb works legitimately because that's how it was intended. So I'm gonna go through about maybe four ways, plant the C4 before starting my actual plan. Um, so basically how the enemy spawns work, if there's more than, uh, if there's le two enemies or less, it'll spawn the next wave. So even if you like just hold the two enemies, you can't just like farm them. So before I used to do it with the, on the first wave, I'd kill four of the shotgunners and one of the riflemen and then keep the three of them alive. The problem with that was I was running myself ragged and there was just so many ways for me to make mistakes. So I'm going to try and get to the fifth wave solo and then use the pit area to do the sticky bomb while the sniper is trying to kill me. And that should hopefully keep me alive. So we're going to go ahead and start. Probably going to be a few um, cuts here and there. Simply because uh, I don't think I'm going to do this on the first try. I find the safest place early on is the right side because it allows you to funnel the shotgunners into you so you can kill them without having too much difficulty. I'm gonna put a sticky bomb right there and save it for when the shotgunners come. So you can see the shotgunners actually show up on a radar. Luckily I stunned him. This one got stunned by the missile. There's one more guy left. One more shotgunner. There he is. I'm gonna wait over here just to heal up. I can finish the rest of this wave. Three more riflemen left. Two more riflemen left. The next wave is going to start spawning very soon. And they will mostly spawn right there. At least one set will. So I'll stand back here and pull the missile.
The most frustrating part with the second wave is that they have a lot of grenadiers solo. Got a bunch of low grenadiers. Alright, the second wave's dead, the third wave is a bunch of, uh, drones. Oh. Apparently staying perfectly so that the, uh, the pillar will get blocked. Uh, in this area, even if you're faced with a bunch of stun drones, they're not likely to mow you down all at once. So I'm gonna bait out the missile here, if I can. Oh. Whatever. Probably the easiest drone wave. The fourth wave is a bit hard here because, um, well, first of all, you got the bombers, you got a bunch of shotgunners too. So I'm actually gonna Morning. switch to smoke bomb. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna wait here. Here come the shotgunners. more shotgunners I have to deal with. I'm gonna try and leave just a few guys alive. Let's see, where's my EMP grenade? I'm gonna save that EMP for the turrets. Close. Yeah. Here's my C4. Hard. Something you just have to make the rush. Got to time this out. Wait for this missile.
Alright, gotta run. Terrifying. <sighs> this is probably the hardest part. It's the easiest place to fail is because the missiles and the turrets will stumble you like crazy. The next wave's coming. Morning. Incoming hostiles detected. So I'm gonna try avoid getting sniped down here and just take out the enemies. And then I should be able to do my sneaky bomb. That was close. He could have definitely taken me out. I don't remember how many counts there are because I've never actually uh, handled this part before. What I'm probably going to do is just use a pulse just to see what's out there and see how much I have to handle. Jillian snipers and grenadiers. So I see those snipers up there. There's four of them. I think I'm going to take out the snipers on the left, if I can see them. This is terrifying. Ah, there you are. Ooh. Cheap shot. Okay, this is going to be a little tougher than I expected. We can only take one sniper shot, looks like. I will actually stand right here and have the missile blow them up. Oh, there's two grenadiers. There's one more sniper on the that side. I might be able to sticky bomb them actually. Alright, that's one brandier down. The other brandier is all the way back there. I can take out one more Grenadier and one more Sniper, I think. Ooh, that was close. I can see the dots. So one, two, three, four. And the Grenadier.
All right. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna start using the sticky bomb at some point. I'm just going to switch the ammo box. This is pretty risky. Fire at it from right here. Just barely. Quite terrifying. Uh, one mistake, even at this place, could die. I'd still look at my skill power is a little funky because of how the um, inventive doesn't update properly, but it's still, if you add 13% to that, you should get the right number.
looks like we're down to five armor pieces. I don't know why I did 500k. I've seen randomly it'll do more damage some of the time where it looks like it's procking the 40% bonus. But I've never been able to pinpoint what's causing it because typically there's no enemy right there. Let's do some jumping jacks. shot before going out. I think I've just been mistiming everything. Risky. Looks like the miss uh the box is actually attracting the missiles too, so if I throw it in front of me, I should be fine. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely trying to calculate the path to the missile or to the box. Ooh, that sniper though. I'm gonna use the recharger. What the hell hit me? Might have been the flak from that. Put this out here. Heal up. After this, we'll get the recharger out. Oh, what a cheeky sniper. Oh, also blowing up that thing heals me uber fast. Smart cover doesn't get blown up and it doesn't pull the missile, so I can use it. Just get back in cover. Well, I actually don't feel safe because of the sniper.
Yeah, it definitely looks like that. Turret tur might be able to fire on. It's really hard to see that red circle. Cheeky sniper. What an exciting adventure in soloing, using game mechanics, as intended. Right? Could have been bad. That was dangerous.
can be pretty stressful. It's pretty far in. I think I'm on the last dark, uh, second to last. It's still taking forever. That would have been a run ender if I just clicked and detonated it. It's a pretty risky spot for me to place. I can get hit by the A splash down for the missile. So that's why I popped it early. I feel like this is the safest spot after using this spot for the first time. I guess I missed it.
actually wonder, is my BFB faster at recharging? 244k. Close enough. Taking a little longer. I keep missing it. I don't think the turret is actually part of the the APC model, so that's why I'm bringing a few duds. I think my electronics is bugged. Let's try swapping gloves really quick. It's not even budging. <laughs> May have to move my electronics around. After this missile, I'm swap my knee pads to non electronics. I swear to God, I think it's inventive. It's bugged. Display the wrong thing. Well, the damage is still right. 361k has been consistent the entire time. It's probably just a display bug. I think it's one more to take off that last piece of armor. And then it's probably like 12, 20 to kill the APC body? I have no idea. Yeah, see, I don't know why I did 505. Helps.
barely see the last gray armor piece about to fall off. One more uh, hit should take off that armor, and then I, it might be a lot more than, <laughs> than 12. I don't remember uh, how much HP it has without it. All I know is that I've been plinking away at this thing forever. This is first I can think of? Is it like, I don't know. Because typically when you do the C4 stuff, it just burns down if I recall correctly. So, I don't know what, what its HP is. Oh, you, oh, that's a decently sized chunk. Doing a little less because it's no longer armor damage, and so I think the sentry doesn't affect it. Ah. Ah, terrifying. Oh, that's a pretty decent chunk. Probably about 20 more at most.
at half health now. Probably ten more. I have no idea. There's an icon there for the missile firing. Still the same stats, still the same gear score, perfectly fun. Oh, it's blinking now. Serious business. Even though it's been the, the same rotation each time, this has still been a long ass fight. And any mistake equals wipe is terrifying because those snipers can two shot me. Looks like two more stickies, and I am done. Don't mess up, right? Uh, no pressure. It's only a proof of concept at all right? Moment of truth. The sticky bomb around the world. I'm 
completed everything. Same stats, same everything, same skills. BFB, I don't know why. I think it's something to do with my backpack is not updating properly. But! Ooh, baby. That's probably garbage. Yeah, well, that was fun. <sighs> I feel like after doing this, I just need to go out and actually exercise because that was a colossal waste of time proof of concept. Anyways, that that's apparently how you can solo the incursion on hard legitimately just by herp derping in the bottom and keeping the enemies alive. Alright? Uh, well, that's the end of the video. Uh, please make fun of me in the comments.